for the serious gamer. Hey, it's Spider by NextGenTactics.com. This is Kane Lynch 2 Dog Days a multiplayer demo. It's another game of uh, Fragile Alliance. Hopefully, you watch the first one. Uh, I'm not going to explain everything that goes on with this one if you haven't seen the first one. Well, go and watch it, damn it. What are you waiting for? Jesus. You want me to hold your hand? <laughs> Anyways, kill the guards, grab the loot, uh, get to the escape vehicle, and that's it. Uh, as I mentioned before, there uh, you actually start off with uh, some weapons. You can pick up weapons. Uh, I think you start off with uh, a submachine gun and a and a handgun. Uh, you can actually pick up weapons off of uh, the police or fallen uh, teammates, and uh, as well as ammo. I haven't seen grenades yet. I don't, I don't think there are grenades or anything like that in this game. Uh, at least I haven't seen it in the. Uh, whether in the single player campaign or this multiplayer. Uh, like I mentioned in the previous video, you can, uh, in between rounds, you can purchase uh, different weapons. And again, I don't know, you know, I'm not going to play the demo so much that I'm going to actually rank up from level 8 to, through to level 1. So I'm not exactly sure what kind of benefits you get as you level up. Whether it be your starting weapons, you can you can customize it, or you get different abilities, like you can actually move faster, whatever. Not sure, and I'm not going to go there unless I get the full game. But in between rounds, you can purchase different weapons, and uh, I think the last game I purchased something. This game uh, I probably do as well, and you obviously have to have money in order to do it. So you know if you get killed or whatever. Look at this guy; it's freaking. Using me as a human shield? No! But I don't think he meant to do it. Because um, I'm like aiming at him. He's got a yellow card. So the yellow card actually means he's not quite a traitor. But he's questionable. And you can still shoot him without um, any repercussions. As long as he's got that yellow card. But it disappears after a certain period of time. But I think he actually... Yeah, I, I think he actually did it by accident. And I actually did it by accident as well. In a previous game. Uh, I, I grabbed the guy and I tried to use him as a human shield, but I did it by accident because the, the indicator popped up and it said press circle. So I pressed circle and I grabbed the guy and used him as a human shield and they all uh, ended up killing me. Even though I wasn't even shooting back, I'm like, I didn't have my mic on either, unfortunately. So it's like trying to duck and hide and hopefully they would stop shooting at me, but they didn't. Uh, anyways, so back to the weapon uh, purchase. So you have to have, uh, got, you know, obtain money in the previous round so yeah you know you have to get to the getaway vehicle or you have to turn into a police officer and, and get some money that way so in between rounds you can purchase weapons you gotta be actually really quick about it because the um, the time that you have in between rounds isn't great and I'm actually gonna speed this up this video up in a couple spots just because it uh, went over my time allotment so once I dr uh, hop into the vehicle I'm gonna split uh, speed it up until the start of the next round but yeah, you can uh, you can purchase new primary and secondary weapons. Uh, they can be uh, sidearms, uh, assault rifles, SMGs, and uh, what else? Shotguns. And there are a bunch. I mean, there are only a few unlocked for the uh, the demo here. So here's where I'm going through and, and I'm I'm purchasing. I actually end up uh, purchasing an assault rifle and an SMG. And they got star ratings, but I went down and just picked the bottom one. Because usually the one at the bottom of the list or the last to unlock is, is in some cases and in some games, the best. But whatever. Okay, so here's the start of the second round. Again, three rounds for each game in this Fragile Alliance game type. There's Amber Carr. All right, let's shoot him, kill him, destroy him. So what else can I say? Uh, t -t 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 don't know. Um, looting has started. Trust no one. It doesn't really... I, I don't see... You know, maybe there is an advantage of having, you know, the most money, but... I don't know. Like, the difference between, at the end of uh, the three rounds, having a score of, you know, 1.9 million versus 1.5 million... I don't think it's a huge deal. Um, so, there hasn't been a really clear indication. Because scores have been really, really high. 
and I, I'd have to look at the scores more. I'm not going to do it in these videos, but it, it just seems that you don't really have to carry that much money in order to get a good score. Which, you know, I think I think you should get a big bonus for carrying more money. Um, you know, it's just probably the difference for the money that you're carrying, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if everybody escapes, I've seen guys that haven't carried anything, yet they get a lot of points. Or a lot of money. I think, yeah, I, actually, I think you do end up sharing the loot. Like, if you guys all work together, you do end up sharing the loot. But I, I think that you should get more at the end of the round. Um, if you're carrying more, then you should get more. You know what I mean? That'd make it more interesting. And maybe that's the case in, in some of the other, in one of the other, one or two of the other game types. Don't know. Anyways, we're just trying to make it across the street. I think uh, we actually all end up working together quite well this game. And like I said, I think that's what this will en end up turning into. You won't, you know, either guys will just, and I mentioned this in the previous video and I'll mention it again, whatever. You know, I like to repeat myself. <laughs> guys will either be idiots and shoot everybody right away. Or we'll all work together and we'll all get lots of points, uh, lots of money to uh, hey, to traitor, rank up traitor. at the end of the game. Oh, somebody turned traitor. Traitor, traitor. Look at everybody's like, oh my god, he turned a traitor. Kill him. Kill him. Traitor, yeah, man, I'm just getting away. And I should get bonus points for getting away the fastest, man. Like, there's nobody else here. And I jumped in the getaway car. And I'm like, get away. Go away. But, I don't know. I think there should only be one getaway car. <laughs> there shouldn't be, uh, you know, they shouldn't respawn the, the getaway vehicles. That would make it interesting, too. So, uh, you can pay the driver to, to leave. Um, and, and, you know, screw all the other players. <laughs> but, you know, it's going to cost you a lot of money, right? So, again, I don't think a lot of people are going to do that. Like, if, it, if that was the case... And I don't see it because the, the getaway vehicles just keep respawning. But if that was the case, like, people wouldn't do it because, I mean, they wouldn't get that much of a, uh, of a bonus at the end of the round. Whereas if they just waited for everybody else, they'd get that much more money at the end and be able to rank up. So, again, I think there are some flaws that, that again, that just being the demo, it gives them a good opportunity to, to see these flaws. But there are just some flaws in in how the points are worked out at the end of the round that just make it less interesting of a game type than it is set up to be, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes sense. I think it does. It just There, there are a lot of, of things involved that will make this an interesting game type, but they have to work on how the rewards are... are, are are uh, given out at the end of the game. That's that's my opinion. Okay, and if they do that, if they do that better, then I think this could be a very very interesting game type. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But they only have like, well, again, this isn't really a sorry. Did I call this a beta? This really isn't a beta. It's a demo, right? So I mean, the game comes out next month. So I don't think they're gonna have a lot of time to do do much with it. So maybe they should have came out with a beta. I don't know. But the things I'm talking about aren't huge game changers that are going to take, you know, or, you know, huge. Uh, it's, gonna, it's not going to take a lot of programming to redistribute the rewards at the end of uh, the end of the game. You know what I mean? Like you're not changing that much to it. Uh, little changes that will have a big, imp a big impact on how the game type is played. That's... You know what I'm saying. Just not very well. <laughs> Alright, are we the first ones? I don't know if we're the first ones to get a, get in the, the getaway car. It'd be actually pretty good if you can uh, you can uh, fire at guys that are trying to get in the, uh, the getaway car too. Or if you can kill them while they're in there with you. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know if there's that. I don't think there's a melee attack either. At least I haven't seen it. But yeah, immediately the guy, you know, pull out a knife and slice his throat while he's in the van with you. That'd be pretty funny. Uh, and then take his loot, and then he loses out. But that'd probably be too easy, too. Everybody would just do it. <laughs> okay, anyways, that has been uh, our second multiplayer video. 
Our second uh, and last, we'll see if we get the full game in August. Don't know, not sure. And there's what we end up with. And that's it. So for more strategies and tactics, hope you guys uh, liked the brief uh, demo vi videos that we produced for Kane Lynch 2. And we're going to try to do this more often for uh, for new games, uh, demos that come out. Uh, hopefully we get, you know, if we get early access, that sort of thing, we'll uh, provide it just to give you guys an overview of the game. Again, hope you liked it. For more strategies and tactics, nextgentactics.com. I'm Spider Bite and I'm gone.